Tinko Carpet One Pro for a couple of weeks now. I've done my unboxing video, I've done my demonstration, and then I've just been using it really. I've used it all around the house, done the rug, done upstairs, next door's borrowed it. It's been very good indeed. But as you can see, we do not have the normal Beko 1987 floor covering. Oh no, I have literally just come back from picking this up from Facebook Marketplace. And with this rug, I'm hoping that we can do a little demonstration with the Tinko. Because, yeah, I've cleaned my rug now. It doesn't need cleaning again. Sort of the problem when you have a smallish house and, you know, people want carpet cleaners reviewing, sort of throwing mess down. Not all I can do organically. So we're going to get this out and see if the cleaner can actually cope with it, because it's not a deep pile, but fairly deep and ah, who knows I might get a nice new rug out of it when all this is done so let's have a look cleaner chums how are you today oh, we've already split this tape so that's good yeah i saw this on facebook marketplace and thought you know what let's do it let's oh, wow i'll just pull a load of it out let's grab it and see if the tin coat can cope because it's quite a deeper pile and certainly not a thin pile like my old rug and obviously the old rug liked the tinko a lot so we'll try something a little bit different and if it all goes well I might have a nice rug. Ha, it's an Ikea Adam. You can't see that, but I can. Yeah, came from a house not very far away at all. Oh, got to put the tripod on it looking. Yeah, it's red. It smells of stale smoke and carpet freshness. So, yeah, this could be interesting. It doesn't seem that filthy though, but as we may remember from cleaning my rug, this can pull out a lot of hidden dirt. But before we even get on to that, you can go elsewhere. We need to vacuum it, because obviously you must always pre-vacuum before you shampoo. And it's August at the time of filming this. We are using a Tinko machine anyway. So let's give this a good clean. I've emptied it so we can see how much we'll pick up. And then we'll go from there. Go stick it in max because we might need it. We've got a nice pile coming up, that's promising. I mean obviously this will be good for other vacuums as well. And in the winter I can have my bare feet in a nice soft rug. Right. Fast forward through this bit. There we go, not terribly filthy, a little bit of fluff and dust came out. I mean, I, I guess you could possibly argue that a Tinko A11 is possibly not the best deep down cleaner for a rug like this. But, you know, it's a Tinko product, Tinko video. This will do, we will soon see how much is left behind by how much fluff and hair this thing drags up. Right, let's get this filled up.
And then we'll do a test stripe, see what happens. Seems to be coping all right. I was a little bit worried about the depth of the carpet, but yeah, the carpet cleaners can manage it. We've got to put it through. Already, that's fixing the pile of absolute treats. Fast forward, we get a good quarter of the stuff. Maybe another reason why I haven't done many more videos on this. Obviously, for those of you who know, we've had a heat wave in the UK, and having a carpet cleaner that blows out 70 degree warm air constantly, even before you put it in the drying bow, oh, it's not great for a little chungus like myself to be demonstrating something like this. It's a bit cooler today, so we'll be okay. But yes, and I haven't put it into drying mode yet because I thought we'd pause and see what it's like now. Is it a little bit damp? Cannot lie, but okay, it's one of those, this is probably on the edge of what you can clean with any carpet shampoo really, but you know, underneath is bone dry, so that's not too bad, and it is picking up a lot of filth. Just from this quarter, this is all I've done. Look at the brown, gunky, horrible soup that came out of this. We've only used up half a tank of clean water, so that's not too bad. And yeah, definitely needs to be done. And this bit versus this bit, the pile is completely different. I think we might have to get something quite beefy vacuum cleaner wise down to really smash this up. We may have to go find a Hoover Junior or a Senior or something. But for now, I'm going to carry on really and shampoo my new rug. Finish shampoo my new rug anyway, and then we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> the warm bit when you stick it into drying mode but hey look I'm in shorts today let's kneel right on the bit that we just shampooed and crikey and it's pretty much dry there is you know dampness to it but only mildly that won't take very long to dry at all and of course I could carry on but I mean, we've only done half the rug so far need to get a wiggle on look we have another bowl of soup mm, yummy Yummy, yummy, and yeah, it doesn't seem to put that much water down, but it does a lot with it before 
it pulls it up. Ah, here we go. Look, there's some of the some of the fluff and the hair coming up, and I'm sure if we knock this back, that's not too bad actually. That's, maybe that's all right. Oh, it's all coming up very nicely. Let's just give the moisture sensor a clean, wipe any fluff off of the heater, which is already, you know, it's hot, but I can touch it absolutely fine, so no real safety concerns there. But what's slightly more pressing is that, look, we've done an entire tank of clean water on half of the rug, and it is coming up beautifully. The bit that I've done versus the bit that I haven't has such better power. This is going to be lovely for demonstrating upright vacuum cleaners, I think. Should be absolutely fine. So, whew, I'm going to have a few minutes to cool down and then, well, I'll do the other side now. You see me doing it enough. Oh, look, it says it's waiting because I didn't turn it off. Yes, you can wait. Wait until I've had a break to <laughs> cool down. And I'm going to do all this. I'll let it dry dry. And then we'll go fetch down a vacuum cleaner that should pump up the pile and get rid of anything because it's not too bad but you know it's there's this sort of thing coming up everywhere so obviously they had a dog i think and we've got to de-dog this new rug oh, right then carry on doing this oh there we go the whole rug is washed and pretty dry now obviously a little bit more but while we got everything out i've noticed that there was a little bit of birdie plop on my footrest and you know I, I use this with my shoes on because again we found this on the side of the road god my house is full of free stuff so while it's all out while there's still water in the tank and a bowl of soup we shall flip the little cover if i can there we go flip the cover and not the entire thing hold this because of course once we flip the cover it will start if i put this here so you can see the screen do love this bit Push it in. Accessory installed. It was. Starting then, cleaning. Two, one. Accessory That's focusing too much on that. Yeah. There. Yes, we do need to do that for sure. But this is now done. I do wish the suction was better on these tools. I mean, the tools are always, you know, not as good as the machine on machines like this, on the Tinko, on the Vaxes I've used, on the Bessels I've used. They work, you know, this will dry fairly reasonably, but it's certainly a lot better than it leaves the floor. Oh, fantastic. Right, well, I need to get changed because I am rather moist now. And... We actually need to do some washing up because we've used this, I think this end of the rug was dirtier than the other end. That water is a lot blacker, but oh, come back a little bit. We need to wash that up. We need to wash that up. We need to take out the brush roll, which you squeeze and pull. Wash that up. Wash this little sponge up and that's it. This can all dry and I will come back when the rug is dry and we'll give it a post vacuum to A, find the pile because I need to know which way around to put this so that when I film you can see the lovely track marks and also just to puff out any remaining fluff and lint that obviously this hasn't picked up. And it's certainly done a good job. I mean, it's not filthy in there, you know. I just don't think there was much. I think that's probably the sum total of it. So, yeah, hopefully... Have a nice clean rug. It certainly smells a lot better. It came, she was a smoker and could smell it in the car. A little bit, not a lot, but it certainly smells a lot nicer now. <sighs> right, I'll see you in a bit. 
Oh, here we go then. It's dried and now it needs vacuuming. Should we go back to the Tinko? I mean, it's probably going to pick up a fair bit. Oh, look, it's leaving track marks now. Which is why I'm quite excited for this rug because um, if you follow the vacuum test channel, he's got a beautiful brown rug about this sort of style. And with the right vacuum cleaner, you can really see the track marks. Now, the right vacuum cleaner for track marks is, I'm afraid, Tinko, not an A11. So, I have got my Cobalt 135 down because it wasn't in the loft and I didn't want to go in the loft. So, I had this in the bedroom. Let's see how it brings the pile up. Oh, oh yes. Oh, wow. That's a bit excessive though. Oh, it's really coming up now. Combination of a good wash and the Stinko. And now a good vacuum. Oh yeah. We need a low power work, although it's probably not picking much up. But yeah. indeed but I think we should try a different style of vacuum here we have the Electrolux Turbo 2 which I have really done anything to bar sticking a new belt on when Mr Powerwaz came to visit just to test it out I haven't refurbished this yet it has been sat in the corner of the bedroom I think we might have to oh, let's, let's, let's put it in the middle raise the height. Let's see how an older, because even though this is from the 1990s, it's based on design from the 1960s, let's see how this goes. I mean, there's a bag, isn't there? Yes, there is. I wanted to do this purely for administrative reasons I need to see which way the pile goes and looking at where well, I'm pushing it I think I've actually got to flip it around 180 degrees later <laughs> Matters which way it goes. Obviously, I'm trying to have it eventually, it's got to go under the sofa a bit because it can't stick out that much so that you can see on the camera. <sighs> I think it's time to bring out the big guns. And a big spoiler right out here because obviously, I'm putting this video out on a Sunday, which I don't normally do. This is a Hoover Turbo Master Electronic, which has got a before and after and a third video on. But just ignore all of that, we're just going to use a Turbo Master on this carpet. <laughs>
works incredibly well. But of course, normally, and I'll move you while I do it, we film like this, don't we? And I sit there, crikey, all we're going to see is red. <laughs> This is what I mean, I've got to now edit this and check that it doesn't, you know, I'm going to have to edit my colouring stuff that I do. This is all, all part of the administration, but if we do it from this one... Turn that there. I guess that these two machines are actually, you know, these would have been sold together, wouldn't they? That's quite sad in a way. Cheap electrolytes is even better trap marks than the Hoover Turbo Master that's got the brand new brush roll, brand new belt. Hey, no. Don't tell the Hoover police. Let's not tell the Hoover police that. But yeah, I think that this is good to go. So we we, we started off with it as a 10k video, and I did primarily get this rug. A because I liked it. B because I wanted something to demonstrate the Carpet One Pro to you. Because yeah, now it's clean, I can't do it again. And we've ended up with a nice rug that I think will stay. We shall see. Now you're not you're gonna see the old one again for a fair few videos, I'm afraid. So you'll have to wait until we naturally move along. And there's also another video coming up of a versus between the Tinko Carpet One Pro and my Vax Jewel V Advance on the old rug, because I wanted it shampooed before it went into storage. So I've done both of those, both of these in tandem and now I can kneel on the rug. I can smell it and it just smells of Tinko Carpet Solution, which is way better than it smelled before. And yeah, I can now have a nice soft rug. Hope that the MBV 190 likes it. We're not gonna go through the fact, yeah, let's, let, let, let's end on that because obviously that is still my daily. Regardless of what vacuum cleaner I use for the month, this is always out. And, yeah, probably not gonna love it. Oh, it gets the bits on. This floor head is going to make all the difference, but this love, the old rug, I think we might have to get the back's head out in order to clean this rug properly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh dear. This is the drawback. <laughs> oh, put it back into low. I never use it on high. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's time for a different floor head altogether. I might have to experiment and work it out. Or just keep the Vax power head that we made around for this. Or again, just keep an upright about. There's you know, nothing to stop me having several vacuums. Although, for the rest of this month, do have a machine that seems to like it quite well. Stick it on max. Don't actually pull up a fair bit. But I don't like using this for dusting because I just don't like these form factors. Although it's pulled all that out of it throughout the course of this video. So that's not bad. But yeah, I use a lot of vacuum cleaners, as I'm sure you know. So I might have to investigate, perhaps saying goodbye to the Henry Corpus floor tool and finding something that likes this a bit better. Or just be prepared to run an upright over it, which I guess is a fair exchange all in. But tell me what you think. How has this video looked on screen with the red? I think that Tinko Carpet One Pro did an excellent job on this very deep pile rug. I would say any deeper than this you probably don't want to be shampooing it anyway but this came up really really well. The pile is well pile's very fixed. I can't imagine for a second that the house I bought it from had a Hoover Turbo Master or a Vorwerk 135 or an Electrolux Turbo 2. I'd imagine it's just had a poorly shark run over it once a week. <sighs>
you're safe now. So, another new carpeting, flooring thing for our viewing pleasure. Hopefully, when you know, the videos that I film on this start to go out, we can keep an eye on it. I'm not going to throw the old rug away. I'm just going to put it into storage you know, for now, because if this doesn't work out, that didn't cost me very much, it can be swapped back. But for now, we're going to stick to this. I'm going to stop filming, take my socks off and push my feet into the soft pile. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I, and this, you'll see this, this needs to be done. This and this and everything else in this room. We'll see you soon.